Good afternoon and welcome to our KRQE.com webcast. I'm Diane Anderson. We begin with Kristen Van Dyke and a look at your weather. Good afternoon. A chilly start this morning. We'll see more sunshine today and of course warming those temperatures up quickly and actually a little bit warmer this afternoon. Still on the cool side as far as where we are normally for this time of the year, but temps will warm up pretty nicely today. We're talking highs in the 70s in the southeast in the central part of the state, Albuquerque, getting into the upper 60s and low 70s. So still again a little cooler than average for today. Tomorrow though, we'll be looking at changes with temperatures warming up, more sunshine, the winds will stay light, and we're going to be on this dry pattern as we head through the weekend and even into next week. Your seven-day forecast here. Temps climbing into the low to mid-70s as we wrap up the work week and then another small cool down as we head into the early part of next week with highs in the mid-60s. A domestic violence suspect who was shot by police in Grants has a history of violence. Investigators say 38-year-old Barry Fuel was beating up his wife at their home on Elm and Grants last night. When the Grants police officers arrived, state police say that Fuel grabbed what they are calling an edged weapon and barricaded himself inside the house. His wife was also there. Two Grants police officers went inside to make contact with Fuel. State police say that's when he either lunged or threatened them with the weapon. One officer fired twice, hitting Fuel. Fuel and his wife are now being treated at UNM Hospital. State police say he's expected to survive. They say she's in worse shape and is listed in critical condition. A trial date has been set for two 15 year old girls accused of smothering to death their foster mother. Uh, Alexis Shields and Desiree Linares will stand trial in early December in state district court in Carrizozo. The two were arrested in June in Carlsbad and charged with murdering 53 year old Evelyn Miranda at their San Patricio home and then stealing her car, cell phone, and laptop. Both girls have pleaded not guilty. If they're convicted and sentenced as adults, they could face life in prison. We'll stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates throughout the day.